Hello and welcome. Somebody on the Shotcut forums asked a question about how to save your project in Shotcut. So let's assume you have a cat video and you put it on the timeline and then you cut it and maybe moved it to uh, some of the clips and then maybe you added some cat jump video, added that to the timeline, split that multiple times, moved stuff around, made clips crossfade, maybe you added an audio track, resized the user interface, moved the clips around the tracks. And uh, you want to stop working for now and you want to save this project. So what you do, uh, you press this button, save, or you go to file, save, or you go, you go to save as if you already did save once and want to save a new file. Anyways, hit one of these, save. And then down here, you will be saving an MLT file. So let's call this project cat01 or v01, version 01. And we got it. There will be a file lying around that should uh, have a visible .mlt ending. And if you close shortcut now, and then open it again, then you can simply drag the project in there, and it will, yeah, it will all return back. And you can also use this file to render your shortcut project from the command line, because that's what the forum post was about. This is how you back up your project. To export the video itself, you have to go to File Export Video or press this Export button. And then here you have to pick the setting. You can just use the default and simply immediately press Export File or go to perhaps, let's see now, YouTube. Where is the YouTube? Uh, YouTube is here. And then just press Export File. And now conveniently, the file will have a file name suggestion based on the project name. So you can just press that and it will, oh my goodness, uh, sure, sure, just render it anyways. And then the file will slowly start rendering. And that's all there is to it. Hope this helps. Remember to save your projects and have fun making videos in Shotcut. Until next time, ciao!